guys. I'm setting up, uh, setting up a new angle because I'm filming another sketch with Julie Nolke today, but this one's for her channel. And I just, I wish I could vlog outside more. I wish I could vlog with friends and do these sketches in person and just venture out into the great outdoors. Canada. I've been trying to I've been trying to read books. I haven't read books since like high school. So I, I thought along with Matt Diavella, and you know what? I'm gonna start trying to read like two books a month. This is my second, I'm on this one. This is number two for the month. But it's, it's pretty good. But the last few chapters have kind of turned into like memoirs of a jogger. I was hyping the Navy SEAL stuff, you know? Much better. It's hard for me to start a new project or get going on something new when everything is a mess. I feel like that has to be cleaned and the card has to be formatted, if you will, before I can start a fresh new project. Okay, check this out. I just got the coolest gift in the mail. Look at that. Whoa, so sick. Thank you uh, guys at Nomadic. This was such an awesome gift. Uh, I gotta hang it somewhere. So if you guys have any ideas where I should put it in the studio, in the cage, wherever, let me know. So I saw some questions about how Julie and I made the sketch that we did last week together and how we made the conversation look so natural. And to be honest, like whenever I see Julie's stuff, I usually think the same thing. Like, wow, how does she do that so naturally? Like I I've tried to do like the double character stuff with Squarespace Pete that you guys have seen and it's hard and I usually just wing it and that is my my downfall. You see, Julie writes scripts and memorizes them, which is very, very difficult for me. I can't memorize a script, so when we made this video together, there's actually a lot of work that went into it. We actually did like a table read, so we got on a Google call and we both read our portions of the script together. It was you. It was both of us. Well, act all of us, actually, but that was 2020. This is uh, what's in my camera bag, 2021. What if you really surprise your viewers? Maybe we need to double bluff. Right. Okay, any notes? Actually nothing. I thought that was so good. So that was kind of like the first step to making it feel natural was rehearsal. Just like the cast of a TV show or a movie would do a table read of the script when they got the copy before they actually filmed the episode. After that, Julie filmed her part, then sent it to me so that I could watch it and get an idea of how to react to, to her. And while I was actually being filmed on my laptop, I had her video and the script side by side. So I would pause it and play it and pause it and play it. So we're about to go do that again. This time I'm gonna have Kirk read the script. I'm gonna respond to it. Uh, but I'm really, really excited about this sketch stuff. Like it was really fun working with her. She's such a professional. And if you don't follow Julie, you absolutely should be. She makes the most original content, it's super funny, and she's easily one of my favorite creators. I should probably make this video now. Oh yeah, I need the Kirk! Kirk! Need a fresh battery. Need a fresh battery! Oh, need a fresh battery! Hey, why don't you focus up and let's, uh, let's do a run through of it. Rolling, running. Pete, Julie, what's up? Oh man, I need you to do me a solid. I got a shoot and my guy just canceled. So you need a guy. Cut. Let's try it again. Pete, Julie, what's up? Oh man, I need you to do me a solid. I got a shoot and my guy canceled. So you need a guy. Okay, I just finished recording my part. It's it's hard. I, I need to know how she's so good at this. <laughs> how long did it take you to film your part? Like maybe an hour? An hour? Yeah. Okay. How long did it take you to memorize the script? Probably 15 minutes. Oh, 15 minutes. That's it? That's all? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for how difficult this editing process is gonna be for you. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so pumped. <laughs> There's gonna be so 
so many like bloopers and outtakes. I felt like maybe there was times I was just reading. I don't know. Well, so see, I think it's gonna be great. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. I think you're really good at this. That's a great compliment coming from you, just because I'm a big fan. But thanks for answering, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna go try to make this a little less painful for your edit process. I mean. Bye. I guess we'll see how it turns out next week when she makes that video. Julie, good luck. Uh, hey, hey, Kirk. I, I just have a question for you. Yeah. Maybe you just take your headphones off for oh. a second. Do you have like a, a favorite website where you like get music for the videos that we edit? Probably Epidemic Sound. They just have so many options. They have sound effects, lots of genres of music. Oh, perfect. Do you use it like all the time? We've done it in every video, right? Every single video. We should probably just put a link in the description just to make it easy for them. Yeah. Like how Epidemic Sound makes it easy for us. Well, for you. For me. For, for, us. for me, for us. For us, yeah. Sometimes for me. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I gotta clean up again. Hey, uh, hey, Kirk. Yep. Do you think I should do all my outros with my hair as crazy as possible? Yes. That could be fun, right? Yes. So hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, smash it. Do the, do all the things that. Do the, do what you're told. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. This mop. Look at this mop. <laughs> Goodbye.